Dr. Lou Sella here. And if you notice the last two games, Army, who, by the way, is going to be playing in a bowl game against West Virginia, congrats to Army. They des certainly deserve it after winning nine games. They ran a lot of follow the last two games, but against Air Force, they ran the follow kick concept. And it's something that Coach Niamatololo personally showed me several years ago. It's when you, they had questions on what number one was doing. If he was a dive player or quarterback player, they'd have the B-back kick him out. And they would basically the cylinder in the backside tackle block it like triple. The tackle would fan out. The A-back would have the mic to the free safety. Then the quarterback would jump in the gap and then he would follow the B-back. He would turn up inside of that block. The follow kick concept is the B-back to the kick number one. He's going to put his helmet to the left, his forearm to the right, drive him out of bounds. The tackle is going to fan the C-gap player, as I just said. The A-back is going to step with his inside foot and he's going to block the mic to the free safety. Center and the backside guard cancel the backside A gaps. Backside tackle cancels the backside B gap. Backside receiver cuts off. Play side receiver cracks the safety. You don't have to block the corner because it's an inside run. A back runs the pitch to occupy the perimeter. The quarterback takes the snap, jumps in the gap. He doesn't need to point the ball, waits for the B back to clear, and then he runs up in between the guard's block and the B back's block. Now, if Number one takes the B-back. Oh, that's great. The B-back's taking him anyway. But then you're going to have the mic scrape over the top to play the quarterback or the pitch. Then the A-back can block him. The guard can end up on the safety. And then you can just hammer it up inside. So the follow kick concept, you basically utilize this as a way when you don't really know what number one is doing. Is he taking the dive? Is he taking the quarterback? What's he doing? Well, that's how you handle it. Because you're going to create quite a void there because... If he takes the B-back, the B-back takes him, and then the mic runs over the top. It's a really great concept. Army used it against Air Force. They, they did a couple different formations out of it, but anything you can do out of the spread formation other than just run triple option and trap is a beautiful thing. So the, this is that's the follow kick concept. And it's nothing that new. Navy was doing it over 10 years ago. It's just Army's actually using it right now. We'll see if they use it against West Virginia. Coaches, you want to win more games in 2020, give me a call, 570-332-0265, 570-332-0265. And go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials. You can see all the success stories coming out of the camps in the academy.